Hey guys, Anita Pania here. How is everyone? Happy Sunday. Hope you're all having a great one. Okay, you're all probably wondering what this is. I'm going to show you guys my collection. These are my private uh, collection jewelries that I want to go through with you guys, show you some new pieces that I got, some of the older ones, uh, show you my, um, my Silpata ring collection, and so on. So I'm going to put this aside and we'll get through it. Okay, give me a second, guys. There's a lot here. So you might want to grab a drink. <laughs> okay, let's see what we should. And I'm not wearing any rings, so we can show you. So like I said, let's go ahead and do the Silpatas first. Okay. Oh, boy, now I have to turn the tray. Give me a second. Oh, right. Okay. So first we have this one here. This is the oldest one that I have. I actually got this from Sandy. Uh, it's a beautiful Silpata ring. I'm not sure what this one is called, but it's very unique. And there's the little Silpata, um, Silpata branding there. It's very pretty. Okay, so this is one. Uh, there's one more. I couldn't find the other one. You know how you guys put we put put stuff away uh, in the in the cell pile and keep pile. I think that one ended up somehow in the cell pile, but I will find it. That's the one that kind of has a, a little horse on it, but I will find that one too. Okay, here's another one. This is a beautiful fauceted one. It's brass. This one is brass. And I don't know if this one, the symbol, I think it's on the inside. Yeah, it's in there. Okay, next. I don't have too many, but I am. I got this one from Jen's Finds and Designs. Very beautiful. I really love the color of this one. It's a beautiful, um, I would call it a fuchsia color. I love this one. This one is my, well, this, I'm going to say this one is my favorite for now until I am, I am looking to get more. <laughs> my collection's growing. This one here, it's with a blue stone and very whimsical, beautiful, again, with a faceted stone here. This is, a, this is really pretty, guys. If you're starting a collection or want to start a collection, might want to start with some Silpata pieces. They, they, they do have really nice, beautiful quality jewelry. Okay, so we saw that one. Next, I got this one because so this one's just a little smaller piece, but uh, compared to the other ones, it's not small, but it's com it is compared to the other ones. It's just a little stone here with a twisted design in the front. A little rope there and oh, it's on the bottom there a little silpata mark and it's kind of like a little triangle shape arrow looking mark this one is a really pretty one this one's the cross I really really love this one and um, there it is <laughs> oh, there and one more. This one's an abalone right here, and it is faceted. On, as you can see, it's a really large piece. I'm looking for this. There it is. Oh, there. This I really love too. The colors are beautiful, and I think that's it for the silpadas. So next, I'm going to show you uh, some things that I got from Sandy from just Sandy's. Uh, I also bought some rings from Sandy and bracelets as well. Okay, so this is one I got as a set. I really, really love this one. This is one of my favorites and it does have a Labradorite on here. I don't know if you okay. Oh, wow. That's a nice flash. I see it. <laughs> and this is uh, a ring that matches. Really pretty. This ring used to fit on this finger, guys. I've gained weight. Now it's moving down. It's moving down. It's going to get to my pinky soon. I hope not, but it's going to get there. And yeah, I really need to get back on my diet, guys. Uh, yeah, this is really pretty. I do love this. It's very modern looking with the little squigglies on there. And she does mark her pieces over there. It's Sandy Wasman, and it's uh, her channel name is just Sandy. Okay. And here's another one that I purchased from Sandy as well. This is one she made for me. This is a custom design. I really love how this looks. It looks like a little sail of a boat. I love it. It's 
beautiful opal piece in there and the lapis stone and we have some coral pieces this is one of my favorites and again sign on the bottom and here we have another one this one is a buffalo stone very pretty native looking i really like this one i think this one's more oh my god guys it won't fit <laughs> Here's, here's uh, 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 some advice, guys. Uh, if you're buying a ring, uh, please buy it for the size that's of your middle finger. In case, you know, you guys, we go up a size, we go down a size, so do our fingers. <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is because my ring finger is a size 7, I'm buying size 8, 8 and a half size rings in case this situation happens. <laughs> Where it won't, I don't want to force it, but this is, again, one of the beautiful, beautiful pieces she made and it's signed again in the back and okay I have I think one more here I have a bracelet here that she made as well with some turquoise Heshi beads and this one I bought from an auction she was auctioning this off on I think the MSP auction uh, Dwayne's channel and I did also purchase the matching earrings for this one so yeah, these are my stuff. These are things that were ne are never going to be sold, guys. This is mine. <laughs> Keeping these very pretty. So I got the earrings too to match. Okay, I'm trying to see if I got any more pieces of Sandy's and I do not. Okay, next we'll get to this piece here that I got from Jen again. As soon as I find it, <laughs> I found the ring, but I can't find it. Uh, the necklace I did put it here where did it go okay guys we'll find it we'll get back to that okay let me oh guys I found another sandy piece this is an Ethiopian opal very beautiful it's a pink earring now guys a pink earring don't forget that suggestion always get something for the middle finger guys always <laughs> see okay so next we're gonna sh i'm gonna show you this one here i got from devon muston mamas she made this one for me i chose the stones uh this one is a larimar heart and this one is a moonstone it's very beautiful uh and she did sign it in here somewhere it's i think in the in the band of the ring over there it says dev and this is a really beautiful piece. If you guys don't know, I do love hearts. And look, oh, sorry guys, my kids are really loud. <laughs> but I wanted to do this video. It's really pretty, guys. Really pretty. Okay. Next, I'm going to show you another ring here. This one, um, I think this is a carnelian on here. It's a beautiful design. And let me tell you the name of this designer here. Uh, it's... Esperanza a very beautiful piece this one is an adjustable ring oh I don't want to force it and it looks like it's attached here but you can um I don't want to force it but there is a way that you can de oh it is oh you know what never mind it, does, it is opening up I thought it was attached but it I guess it's not okay this is one of my other beautiful pieces next I'm going to show you Okay, let's do uh, my, um, let's see here, this one, oh, Tiff hang on guys, I'm going to check on the kids, I'll be right back. Next one here is a Tiffany piece, it's a Tiffany & Co uh, toggle necklace here, it's really beautiful with the little heart dangle here, I really love this one, this is one of my favorite pieces that's always going to be in my collection. Uh, the next one here is a love knot really another really beautiful piece i love this so beautiful i don't know if you guys can see the knot but it is a beautiful piece and i love the clasp on this one too guys it's really really nice and here's the little markings i have another one here also tiffany and co i think this one is the return to sender one Yes, it is. Please return to Tiffany & Co. on this one. It's really pretty. This one, what I do with this one is actually wear it as a bracelet to match the necklace. Okay. 
Next, we have this one here. It's called a gate link ring. It's silver and 18K. And it has the 18K are these little, little, um, I don't even know what to call these. <laughs> the little screws, I guess, that they use the little, uh, to hold it together. Very pretty. And this one is marked somewhere here on, over there. There we go. And I'm so happy that this is in a large size, whereas before it was falling out. With, when I used to do this, it used to fall off my finger. Now it won't even go on. <laughs> so I'm going to have to wear it here. So it's always a good idea to get something in a bigger size. See, it used to fall off this finger, guys, which is why I never wore it in the videos. Okay. And next we have this one here. This one is an Hermes piece. A very beautiful one here and it had the little there it is it has the Hermes on here see this one also I got in a bigger one bigger size very beautiful piece yeah <laughs> boy am I glad I got some big pieces okay next we're gonna get to this one here this is really beautiful it's onyx and I got this from Doug from Vintage Boutique this one, and it came with the earrings over here. And I got the ring separately from Cindy. So beautiful, guys. Look at the ring. Look how... <laughs> I did get this in a bigger size, so don't worry, guys. <laughs> Look how beautiful that looks. And I know these uh, come also in Malachite as well as um I, th I think i've seen them in turquoise as well so if you see come across any of these pieces like the uh their little faces that are carved i f i really forgot what they're called but they're little carved faces if you come across these go ahead and get them they're really pretty they're beautiful and if you find a ring get that too they come with the ear the, well they don't all come with the earrings this one came with the earrings um doug offered it with the earrings and they are screw backs, which I don't really do screw back earrings, but uh, to wear this bracelet, I will. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll, I'll compromise. <laughs> okay. Next, I have um, this one here again from Jen. This is so beautiful, guys. It's a blue lace agate. I really love the size and the scale of this piece, and it is all silver in the back. Really beautiful. Oops. <laughs> Really beautiful, and I love the chain it came with. Really beautiful. And because I love this piece so much, I purchased a ring. Um, this one, I think the ring I got from eBay, if I'm not mistaken, or Etsy. I think it was Etsy. So I did purchase a ring uh, so I can, you know, match them up a little bit and wear it together. Look at this ring, guys. Isn't this the most amazing ring you've ever seen? Look at the little, little uh, icing type druzies on here. Wow, this ring makes me happy. <laughs> I really love it. And then with the necklace, it would be gorgeous. I really love this. Now I need a bracelet, guys. Now I need a bracelet. Okay, so these two. Next, let's show you. Oh, look, guys, I have to show you this. This is so cute, guys. Look at this shoe. I have a shoe exactly like this in gold. <laughs> I really, really love this one. I think this is. A really fun piece to wear it's a little uh it's a bracelet with a little well not little a huge <laughs> shoe hanging on it but it's fun let me tell you who the maker is it is oh god am i gonna be able to see uh, it's j no hold on is that a j it's s p e r r y sperry i hope that i read the first letter right sperry very beautiful and let me see it's yes it is an s okay <laughs> it it has the s over here i wasn't sure because the s uh was not showing very well it's very very beautiful piece okay very feminine cute okay this one here is a gold piece beautiful diamonds and i did test these they are diamonds and the green ones were emeralds. I think they were emeralds. I tested this this one. Um, 
so that's why I decided to keep it it was marked somewhere in there I can't see the mark right now but look at how high it stands up on the finger this is obviously an older piece maybe from the I don't even remember I don't even know I remember when I was a little kid my mom had pieces like this really nice beautiful piece so that's a keeper again like I said it was it was once a seven <laughs> okay uh well it's still a seven my finger is not next I'm going to show you this one here it's a beautiful heart cuff here gorgeous it's I think that the stone was a topaz if I'm not wrong if I if I remember correctly it's a beautiful piece it is marked 925 somewhere it does not have a maker's mark or does it I don't remember guys it does it's a tasco piece it says ts something something some numbers and 925 and it does have a cutout it's a really beautiful piece this is a anita piece that i'm going to keep forever and next we have this one here which i decided to keep this one is the the oscar de la rente heart look how beautiful it is i have to show it again guys in case you guys didn't see it or somebody hasn't seen it this is an older piece. Here's the tag. Very, very beautiful. Very hard to find. You're not going to find another one. <laughs> oh, I'm not. But so I'm going to go ahead and keep this one for me. It's very beautiful. Sorry, guys. My son's a little uh, noisy today, but uh, we will get through it. Okay. Next, I'm going to show you this watch here. This is a beautiful Stingray rock, uh, watch. Uh, by um, God, I keep forgetting this designer's name, Vince Camuto. Very hard to find again. I can't find it anywhere, guys. Nowhere, nowhere to be found. It's a beautiful piece. I don't really wear watches, but this one I I did decide to keep. It's a very gorgeous and unique large piece over here. So this is a keeper in my collection. I have a gold piece to show you guys. Okay, look how beautiful this is, guys. Isn't it gorgeous? I have not cleaned it. I have not washed it. I have not done nothing <laughs> to it. And I don't plan on doing anything to it because it's so little and fragile. And I, I really don't want to break it. And I'm holding it the wrong way. <laughs> look at this, guys. It's actually this way. Because look at these uh, designs over here, the little flowers. So this is the way, as you can see, it's pretty dirty. I'm not cleaning it because I don't want to break it or anything. And I have tested it. I have checked it. It does have a mark. Uh, this is how the, the clasp looks. It's a very, very old, delicate piece. So this is how it's going to stay. And yeah, beautiful. So this is another one in my collection. And I'm going to show you this piece here. Uh, this one I got from Jude. Over here, this is so beautiful, guys. And uh, the designer's name is on here. Hang on a second. It's by Liz PM. And the, this is a uh, squash blossom turquoise uh, onyx uh, piece here with this gorgeous necklace. These run about four to $600. Uh, I really love this one. Usually you can't wear the squash blossom necklaces. You know how big they are. I actually have a, one of those massive squash blossom necklaces. But this is something you can wear. And uh, I, that's why I decided to go ahead and keep this one for me. It's beautiful. You can remove it from here and always use it on a different necklace. You can use it on a thin chain. You can use it with pearls, anything else. It's just a beautiful piece to have. And I got this one from her. And let's see what we have next here on my table oh these are some pearl earrings uh, these are gold as well with pearl the hooks are gold not the not the strings <laughs> but they are beautiful and i'm guessing these are saltwater pearls that's my guess but they're really nice ones so i, I did go ahead and keep those here's some more rings over here this one is a carnelian stone um, juicy like this is very beautiful look at that it's like a work of art and i don't think this one has a maker on it unless i didn't see it 
it's very some rings are very very hard to see the yes it does have a little maker's mark on here but i can't see i can't see it because it's so small and i did get one of those microscope things that i saw doug using the other day so as soon as i receive that i will do a video showing how it works and and uh, for you guys to see what it is so i am definitely going to try it out because there are marks that i cannot see because they're so small okay uh where were we okay we have this one here it's a pink topaz this one i got from donna it's gorgeous it's huge the stone on here it's beautiful and it's enameled it has a little kind of like a halo type of it's not round but surrounds the stone again these are were also the uh, also topaz okay this one here I got from Jude as well. I really love this dome shape ring. Isn't it amazing? It has the beautiful uh, clear quartz stone on here and the amethysts around it. But I really love how it resembles a crown. And it is in Vermeil. It's beautiful. I don't know if this has any. Oh boy. My kids are really getting loud there. It says G-O-T on there. I don't know who that is. I haven't looked it up. It's really pretty. It's very heavy. I like this one. Okay, this one I did keep too. It's a pearl necklace here with the black peacock looking pearls and the white pearls. And then it has this two sided area where you secure the pearls with the, with the little clasp there. And this one here also, it's beautiful sterling silver. Uh, clasp on here too so this is something that I kept for myself as well okay next I'm going to show you these gold earrings that my dad got for me look how pretty they are they are onyx and they are marked uh, gold on here I'm not sure it's 585 or mm. Oh, here it's on the bottom it's 14k and then it says 585 as well on the bottom so these are really pretty i like these two and these ones here are are the are the chanel earrings that i'm keeping look at this how beautiful they are and these are chanel my jeweler did look at them and confirm that they are really pretty gorgeous okay let's see did i miss anything yes this one here this one vanessa sent me as a gift look how pretty they are and they these are all gemstones the gem tester did test them as as gems very pretty it's a rose gold sterling uh, um, sterling silver and rose gold it's beautiful look at the back okay i really love this piece do okay next we have another couple of more bracelets here uh we have this one here with the opal stones i've had this in my collection for a while i don't know who the maker is a lot of the makers i don't know i need to look them up it just looks like an ss back there this one i might be able to um let go of guys because it is kind of a little bit on the bigger side for me and i like mine's really tight but yeah so this one i might be able to let go and this has the ethiopian opal on here as well okay and this one here is an amber piece very beautiful large uh, piece here and i'm going to show you some amber pieces this is an amber piece my dad got look how huge this is it's huge and i have the amber earrings they're little clip-ons that kind of match it i oh what was that <laughs> sorry guys okay uh it i love i like how they're not um you know um uh they're not round they're not square they have this weird shape to them very organic looking i like the organic look of these uh pieces here really pretty and i did decide to keep this one here that i showed you guys the other day the darker color amber so i did keep these this one here and i do have another amber necklace that 
that I have here. And I wanted to show you guys that one as well. This is a really beautiful piece. And it's on this long um, necklace that's made out of um, leather. Really pretty. So yeah, these are my amber pieces. I have a few more, but these are the ones I wanted to show you. Okay, next I'm going to show you some necklaces. Some gemstone necklaces. Okay, this one here. I thought it was a lapis, but it's. I think it's a sodalite. What do you guys think, guys? I purchased this as lapis, but um, let me know what you guys think. It looks more of a sodalite to me. So I did. I did go ahead and keep it because I really paid up for this guy. <laughs> Next one is a malachite necklace. So this one I kept as well. Let me know in the comments if you guys think it's as lapis or sodalite. I'm going to give you another look. <laughs> okay and then this is my tiger eye and onyx piece that i that i kept and this one here is is the amethyst one that i kept and believe it or not guys i i did not know that these were amethyst when i checked them and tested them i was shocked that these uh, faceted ones uh, were amethyst and beautiful long beautiful piece of jewelry here these are my necklaces that i love these and and let me show you this one here again this is my collection of necklaces gemstones okay next i'm going to show you some butterflies here that i kept for me i love butterfly brooches guys this one here that's one this one i kept here I kept this one and this one here. So these these are my butterflies. Okay, and what else do I have here? I have an ice link bicycle bracelet here. I'm trying to close it so I can show you guys. <laughs> Why won't it close? Oh god, it's acting up today. Okay, because I was closing it the right wrong way. Okay, there we go. It's ice link. It's a bicycle bracelet in the turquoise color. Really beautiful. I like this one. And this is my Pandora bracelet. I don't have any beads on here, but I really like this one. So I kept this one for me. It's just very plain and I, just, I like it better this way where, you know, I don't have too many beads on it. It's just an this one here, it's already embellishment enough. It has really beautiful stones. Maybe I can add a couple of more charms, but for now, this is how I have it. Okay, next I'm going to show you uh, this Pierre Cardin piece. Guys, you're going to be in shock how beautiful this is. Look at this, guys. This is actually a book piece. Oh, actually, magazine piece over here. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? And here's the little symbol right there. It's beautiful. Just beautiful, guys. I can't wait to wear this. I love it. I just think this is amazing. Okay. And let me see if I have anything else. Or are we going to call it a day? And then I have this one Swarovski piece that I kept for me. I really like this one. And this one here, the lion, is by Dominique. And this uh, doubles as a pendant and a brooch. This is so cute, guys. It's too cute. I love how it has this little little fringe, fringy hair-like area here on top of the head. Uh, it's, it's a lion face rhinestone brooch by Dominique. And I do, I do have two of these. One of them is listed in my Etsy shop, and one of them I'm keeping. And I think I have one more here. Yes, I have this one here. Uh, it's a Kate Spade toucan uh, bracelet, which I really love this one. And uh, when I when I showed this one, uh, one of my viewers actually sent me a necklace to match. Very beautiful. Okay, so I think... That's it, guys. Yeah, I have so much more jewelry, guys. But for now, <laughs> I'm going to show you these. But And I do have a lot more. And I also have a 
huge, beautiful Monet collection. If you guys want to see my Monet collection, let me know in, in the comments and I'll do a video on my Monet collection. I also have a gold filled jewelry collection. I have some, I have other gold pieces. I, I can do kind of like a gold tone uh, jewelry collection for you guys. Let me know. Hope you guys have a great Sunday. Uh, let me know which one was your favorite. Uh, this is Anita Fanita saying goodbye.